Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, another monthly empties video. So don't forget to hit that like button if you like empties videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and we'll just pop right into it. So these, I love this cleanser. This is one of my favourite cleansers. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Creamy Cleanser. This is really good. I really enjoy this. Hence why I've used three bottles. And I have one sitting in my shower right now. Now, a lot of people don't like this, but I, I do. I do have dry skin. But I'm, like, I have, I used to scrub this on my skin for about a minute but I've cut down to 30 seconds and I feel like it doesn't irritate my skin as much so yeah I really enjoy this I really I repurchase this a lot but I am looking for something a bit less harsh just leave your recommendations in the comments and let me know I really like the Lady Gaga the Fame perfume it smells I think it smells really good I think it's one of her best smelling perfumes. That's why I always repurchase it. My favorite hair mask, if you've been on my channel for a while, this is the Macadamia Natural Oil Hair Mask. It smells really good and it doesn't feel like your hair's really strawy. Your hair feels really nice and hydrated afterwards and I think it's worth it. I've really enjoyed this cleansing butter. Yeah. Cleansing Butter by The Body Shop. It's a chamomile. I really like it. I felt like it really melted off your makeup and didn't feel made your skin feel stripped or anything. It felt really good. I actually should pick up more of that. One of my favorite m face masks. I mean, this is fairly expensive, but I think it is definitely worth the price. If you have sensitive skin, this this will probably burn your face off because it is very strong even I noticed a scent in this it's very strong and it really tightens your pores and gets all the gunk out which yeah it can be a bit drying but yeah I need to go and repurchase more of this I've got the Nivea Rich Regenerating Night Cream I liked this yeah, I felt my skin in the morning was very soft and smooth and it just felt very hydrated and I like this but because Nivea use a lot of, well actually it doesn't have any ingredients on the bottle so that's a bit um, concerning so that's why I didn't repurchase this because I don't know I'm a bit unsure with all the chemicals and everything in this. So I got a different nighttime cream. Swiss Manuka Honey Detoxifying Facial Mask. I really enjoyed this. It's not as good as my Glam Glow, but it suffices. It's pretty good. I used a bottle of the Bow Professional Vanilla Cream Shimmer and Shower Bath Gel. This smelt really good. It's pretty much a shower gel. It wasn't like a mate. It wasn't. It was good. It was a pretty good shower gel. Bare Mer Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Hypnotist, I think it is. This was one of those holographic lip glosses. Literally, I used it that much that the applicator broke off. Uh, the only, my concern was that it leaked everywhere when I got it. Half the product went. So I actually ran through this pretty quickly. It's a very thin, it wasn't sticky or anything, but it was a very thin formula. I felt like it didn't stick on the lips very long. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I think it's a pretty cool color. We got toothpaste. This is one of my favorites. This is the Oral-B Oral -B 3D White Lux with White Lock Technology, Diamond Strong. Makes your removes up to 90% of surface stains in just seven days. I probably take three weeks, you know, to notice a difference. I wouldn't say it's seven days, but still, it does make your teeth a little bit wider. So I really like this toothpaste. I always buy it when it's on special. I went through an Essence Sun Clad Bronzer. 
I love this bronzer. It is one of my favorite bronzers out there. For very, very fair skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this. But because for medium skin tones, I think it would be like MAC Give Me Sun. It is definitely a good dupe for that. But it is fairly an orangish bronzer. But I like to be a little bit warm. I really like this. I will definitely repurchase this. Now this, I really, it was a bit mixed. Some days I would use it and it would look absolutely amazing. But then there were some days that it would just look gross on my skin. I think it could be because I have dry skin. So if you have, I think, normal, I'm not sure about oily though, this would be great for you. I personally wouldn't go per pick this up again. Yeah, it's not amazing foundation, so you can skip out on it if you want. I mean, it's up to you. Depends if you... If you've ever, let me know if you've tried this foundation and you like it and tell me why you like it. So this is the Studio Sculpt foundation in NC15. I mean, it matched me alright. I mean, it was a little bit yellow, but usually MAC foundations run a bit yellow on me. I really like this Sun Silk conditioner. As I say in my previous empties videos, conditioners are conditioners for my hair. I. I haven't really found one I haven't liked. I've got the Milk and Honey Nourishing Body Wash from Coles. Love this stuff, especially when you're on a budget. This is the Arcona Magic White Ice Gel Moisturizer for all skin types. I think I really like this. I'm not sure. With samples, it's a bit hard because you can either get one use or two use. And sometimes, with, especially with skincare, I feel like you have to really give it a go to see a difference, not just one, two. Biore, I love these guys. These ones don't rip my skin off. The white ones do. These are the deep cleansing charcoal pore strips. I love doing these once a month just to get any gunk out of my nose. I love the Models Prefer Finale Makeup Setting Mist, my favourite setting mist out there. It is a good dupe for MAC Fix Plus. The only thing is, you can only get this in Australia, so I'm sorry about that. My favourite makeup wipes are the Neutrogena ones. I, li I really like the blue ones. The purple ones, I don't know, I like the smell of them, but they're kind of burnt. My will not burn, but they keep my skin a little bit oily. I use a couple of cotton rounds. They're always handy to have around. I used a bottle of the Dewy Finish NYX setting spray. I really like this stuff. It sets and locks in your makeup and it makes it look a little bit dewy. All time favorite hair protectant in the world. This is a Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Protective Spray. This stuff is amazing and especially because it's at the drugstore so it's affordable. I used a bottle of the Lash, La Roche, La Roche, <laughs> La Roche Prose Acelios XL Melt In Cream. This is a great sunscreen. I really enjoyed it. I'm a bit it was a very small bottle for $30, which I thought it was a bit of a rip-off. I've repurchased a different sunscreen. It's more of a natural type sunscreen. I would probably repurchase this if I had to go traveling. I used a bottle of the Body Shimmer Spray by Bow Beauty Professional. This stuff smelled really good. It was kind of a body spray that you can just chuck on and leave and it will just it, it doesn't last long long but it's just that nice pick me up I finally used this lip scrub up it's from Lush they're really famous for their lip scrubs yeah I really enjoy this flavor I used a bottle of the Garnier 5 second blur smoothing base perfector so this is pretty much like a silicone primer to smooth out your pores. I really enjoyed it. Well, I used two brush cleaners. This is this one's by 
Models Prefer and this one's from Artiste Manicare. So I really like these. They pretty much, yeah, clean your brushes. I used this Dove Men Care Extra Fresh 48 Pro Powerful Protection Deodorant Spray Antiperspirant. I, I know I shouldn't do this, but I use this deodorant and this deodorant just because I feel like I sweat a lot and I don't want to go, I don't want to get really stinky. So I use these two together. They really work. I put this one on first and then I go in with this one. And this one's a Rexona Clinical Protection Summer Strength Deodorant. I like to get the scented ones just because they smell a bit better than the normal ones. So yeah, I really enjoyed these. Now, I didn't really enjoy this, but I did use it all up. Because I don't like wasting product. It wasn't, it didn't do anything amazing. This is the Simple Radiance Brightening Eye Cream with Mango Goodness for Healthy Glowing Skin. Yeah, I haven't repurchased this at all. I didn't really enjoy it. I'm using another eye cream right now. I actually like this Josie Moran Argan Oil, but I like all. I think all Argan Oils are pretty good. This was a lot heavier though than normal ones that I've tried. But still, I just wait a little bit extra longer for it to sink into my skin. I used up a bottle of the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Light Infusing Foundation. I really enjoyed this foundation. It left your skin very luminous. Yeah, it would give you a nice light to medium coverage. I wouldn't say full. I haven't repurchased this. And I haven't repurchased this either. This is the e.l.f. Eye Fresh roll-on thing that you put on in the morning to de-puff your eyes. Honestly, it doesn't really de-puff your eyes. It just feels really nice underneath your eyes. That's all it does. Obviously, I didn't think it's worth it to repurchase. Only a few more things and then we're done for this empties video. I used up a bottle of this dry shampoo from Bristol Bloom, Polish London. Yeah, it was a good, alright dry shampoo. It wasn't amazing. I really like my Batiste dry shampoo. I got two of the Hello Kitties body sprays. I know this is for kids. But seriously, who does not want to smell like bubblegum and grape? This one smells like purple hubba bubba. And this smells like just regular hubba bubba. It smells so good. So good. I mean, it doesn't last that long, but if you just, yeah, quickly need to get ready and just chuck anything on, these are really good. Or you've just finished at the gym, had a shower, spray this quickly on ya. You're good to go. I used up a bottle of this Savvy Loose Perfect Finish Loose Powder in Translucent. Yeah, I really like this powder. It's affordable. It's $10. And lucky last, I've been really enjoying these Leaders in Solution Coconut Water Gel Luminous Masks. I've tried the Vol, I've, because I bought a whole lot on Sephora. I've got, yeah, I've tried one of the volume ones, and today I tried the AC Pore Care one, and it felt really good as well. But yeah, I really like this. This made my skin really glowy and hydrating. So, yes, I am definitely going to pick up more of these because I'm hooked and obsessed. So, yeah. So that's the end of this empties video. So I hope you like this empty video. I really like it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Till the next video. Bye.